Hi everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Cook Like a Japanese channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make stir-fried komatsuna with garlic and red pepper. Komatsuna is Japanese own vegetable, so it is called Japanese spinach in English. And it is used for various side dishes here. I believe I made Komatsuna Nibitashi video the other day. So watch it if you're interested. Anyway, uh, this dish is so popular here in Japan, and to make it is super easy, plus the taste is unbelievable. So let's get started! Yeah, the ingredients for stir fried komatsuna with garlic and red pepper is only three. The first one is komatsuna, the second one is just clove of garlic, and the third one is red pepper. We got three steps to make it. Step one is cutting the ingredients into pieces. Step two is to stir fry these. And step three, last one, is to season with one tablespoon of sake, a little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of chicken soup stock powder, and finish up with pouring a bit of soy sauce. And that's it. Super easy, isn't it? So why don't we go on to step one? Okay, step one is to cut the ingredients. Be sure to sharpen your knife. Wash komatsuna before you cut it. And I don't use this ends. And another wash. Well, you cut this stem and leaf but yeah, cut the stem part into three, I guess. And the uh, leaf part is bigger, is better. So, just two is okay. And second thing you cut is to be a clove of garlic. Peel it. Slice it. Just slice it is okay. Slice the garlic. Plus, going to red pepper. Looks great. We're going to step two, to stir fry. Okay, why don't we go on to step two? Step two is to stir fry these ingredients. Pour the sesame oil. I recommend you to use sesame oil because the flavor is awesome, unbelievable. But if it's vegetable oil, it's okay. So pour sesame oil before you heat the pan. And we put the uh, garlic and red pepper into the pan. Then heat it. Turn to burn the uh, When the garlic is becoming nice and brown, put the stem part of the When it gets soft, let it for like a minute or two. Then you put the deep part. Yeah, it looks good, isn't it? So what are we going to do? That's free, that's free. Salt and pepper a bit, chicken soup stock powder a bit. Okay, so I start. Just a little bit of salt. Just 
Tuna with garlic and red pepper. Yeah, looks great, isn't it? All well, right, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. You know, to make stir fried koma tuna with garlic and red pepper is super easy and the taste is super yummy. So, why don't you try it at your home? If you like this video, please put thumbs up button, subscribe, and leave some messages down below. It's gonna encourage me. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye, take good care. Arigato. See you. Bye bye.